17 lots broke the six-figure mark during the second session of the Autumn Horses in Training sale, with 300,000 guineas the highest price reached so far. William Haggis' Somerville Lodge ended the second session as the leading consigners at the sale so far, selling a total of 17 horses for 1.136 million guineas. Topping the draft was lot 675, the progressive two-time winner Piranesi, who attracted bids from Ted Vout, Ed Dunlop and Ronald Rauscher before being secured by Jane Chapel Hyam for 300,000 guineas. The recent Ascot Classified Stakes winner, who is a half-brother to the former Haggis-trained Racing Post Trophy winner Rivet and hails from the further family of three-time Prix de la Forêt winner One Master, is set to join Jane Chapel Hyam's client overseas. The Australians are always significant buyers at the Autumn Horses and Training sale and none more so than leading Australian trainer Chris Waller, who has sourced Group 1 winners Fortella, Moriarty, Stand to Gain and My Kingdom of Fife at this sale in the past. This year, with regular agent Guy Mulcaster unable to make the trip, he signed for three lots bidding through agent John Ferguson, including lot 664, the 104 rated desert icon, the most expensive of the trio at 210,000 guineas. The Sydney based trainer also swooped for lot 697, the 98 rated Yarmouth winner Crystal Pegasus from Sir Michael Stout's Freemason Lodge, who cost 190,000 guineas. The two time winning colt by Australia hails from the illustrious family of Crystal Ocean, Hillstar and Crystal Capella and added to the tally of three purchases for Waller alongside Frankel Colt Borna King for a total of 520,000 guineas spent so far. Another offering also set to head down under is lot 623, the Bally Doyle consigned Keats who was signed for by Amando Duarte with Ballymore Stables Australia and Paul Moroni Bloodstock for 200,000 guineas. The three-year-old colt by Galileo out of champion three-year-old Philly Airwave won a listed race at Cork last time out and has been sourced to join Paul's brother, Melbourne Cup winning trainer Mike Moroni, buyers of Wellington Cup winner Mr Impatience at this sale, who this year have had to rely on the sales ground intel from their good friend and business associate Armando Duarte. We thought with his pedigree and his physique and his confirmation and his racing already here in Europe, we thought it could be a, a nice addition for Ballymore Stables in, in Melbourne. Mike Moroni is going to train him. He's a fantastic page. And with that, in his form, in his looks, and obviously past the vet, add everything to the great ingredients to make it become the horse we want in the sale. Another regally bred son of Galileo to attract interest on day two from the Bally Doyle draft was lot 714, Group 3 Bally Sax win and Nobel Prize, a full brother to Highland Real, Cape of Good Hope and Idaho, who was snapped up by John Walsh Bloodstock as a future stallion prospect for 170,000 guineas. Well, he's destined for a stud career primarily, although he's vetted out sound for both stud and racing. Uh, as was evident by the underbidder, Hubie de Berg wanted him to campaign in Australia, but uh, he was a gorgeous horse, great physique. What a page he got, you know, there's only two dams on the catalogue page here, so, and Star Spangled Banner is there as well, and what a success he's been, you know. So I'm delighted to have got him for my client anyway. Adding to Somerville Lodge's tally as the leading consigners at the sale so far was their final lot to go through the ring, lot 687 Royal Address, who was one of those to pique the interest of buyers selling for 170,000 guineas. The listed winner was a third purchase for Narvik International at the sale, who are the current leading purchasers by aggregate. We think she's a very nice filly. She's already a stakes winner. She's, uh, she has a lot of speed. She sh we brought her to race in California for Marsha Nefi, and uh, we think she's the kind of filly who should do very well over there.